Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at the North American International Auto Show taking a look at this all new 2023 Hummer EV. Starting off up front, you're gonna have a massive LED headlight and accent light package, LED fog lights as well. There is no grill because this is an EV. There is a faux style grill right here that has the front facing camera as well as the front facing parking sensors. Under that you have these massive tow recovery hooks as well as a full metal skid plate. This bumper does allow for increased approach angles as you can see. Black molded fender flares. This vehicle is two-tone white and black as you can see. Massive Goodyear Wrangler Territory MT tires and I believe these are a 35 inch tall tire. Your Hummer EV badge is gonna be right here. You have the color matched white and black mirror caps, as well as your mirror mounted camera for your 360 degree camera system. Rock sliders that also double as a cab length running board. Blind spot monitoring, as you'd expect. This vehicle does have the passive entry system, so as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from any of the four doors. The roof is removable, as you can see. Cross path detection sensors, full LED tail lamp. Parking sensors, again, are integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper, and you have these massive tow recovery hooks. Your seven pin connector is gonna be right here as well as your trailer camera system. Backup camera is gonna be right there. Your GMC logo is on the passenger side. And this does have the pro tailgate system. This also is a, another third brake light. I'll go over the bed and the um, pro tailgate system a little bit later when we look at the, uh, the bed of the vehicle. Right here we have your charging port. This truck is very, very cool. They have a frame on display here as well of uh, where the batteries are and uh, they do a really good job of hiding them. And this is one beefy, beefy EV. Let's take a closer look at the interior. So starting off on the left side driver door, we have all the window controls for the vehicle as well as your power adjustable mirrors and power folding mirrors. Two seat memory, really nice soft touch material in here and they have this really nice brushed, almost bronze looking trim throughout. Really massive air conditioning vent right here. We have an electronic parking brake button and it looks like we have the front trunk button, lane keep assist, uh, tailgate release, all the windows down at once, cargo lamp, and then the power plug for the bed, as well as the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Coming up top to the dashboard, really sleek, minimalist style dashboard. The instrument cluster is 100% digital. Let's see if I can get it to recycle for you guys so you can see. I really do like that the automotive industry is moving towards a completely digital instrument cluster it does offer more customization for the uh, consumer coming back to the steering wheel we have this really nice leather wrapped steering wheel with mild bolsters at 10 and 2. i believe this has i think it's called super cruise um, it's the semi-autonomous hands-free driving offered by general motors so you have the little light light sensor right here light bar right here and then you have another sensor right here up right in front of the uh, digital instrument cluster all your cruise control buttons are gonna be right here, as well as your super cruise button. And then you have your gap adjustment for your adaptive cruise control. Over on this side, you have all the steering wheel mounted controls for the phone call. And then you have your control pad right here for the center LCD display. This, I believe, is your battery regenera regeneration. Um, so it will help you regenerate battery um, in city driving and heavy braking push button start as you'd expect again massive massive touchscreen display uh, you can pretty much do everything through here 
heated seats, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel. Uh, this does have uh, General Motors' new UI. I believe it's powered by Google. Everything is real sleek. So this is um, right here, it is a screen, but the actual buttons are underneath it, which is pretty cool. So once you wanna go into the heated seats, you can then push down this button and it will open. Um, very, very cool. Again, this thing is just so amazing. I'm not a huge fan of the new UI, but in the Hummer EV, it looks absolutely awesome. Again, pretty much everything can be controlled through the touchscreen display itself. And then under that, when the vehicle is on, you actually have um, this portion that lights up. Unfortunately, I can't see everything of what it is right now. Let's see if I can turn the lights on to get it so that way it'll show us. No, unfortunately I can't, but I'm assuming it's probably parking sensors on off, traction control on off, maybe some EV specific items. Hazard light button is going to be in the middle. Under that you have this really nice sleek minimalist style um, <clears throat> air conditioning vent, integrated trailer brake controller. Right here we have a really nice hideaway cubby with a plus size smartphone wireless charging mat and then a USB-C and USB outlet. Cup holders are gonna be right here. Your minimalist style shifter, which I really like. The um, Sierras and Silverados have this. I really like that over the uh, push button or the rotary dial selector. Right here we have your drive mode selector. This is a rotary dial. <clears throat> and then we also have, it looks like, your air suspension uh, control or your crab walk control. Um, this is actually pretty cool. It's pretty much like four wheel steer. Uh, so it does uh, greatly decrease the uh, turning radius. A really nice soft uh, armrest with a nice cutout for a plus size smartphone. Lift up on it, giving us access to an LED lit storage compartment. 12 volt outlet's gonna be right in there. Really nice shot of the seats in this vehicle. Absolutely beautiful looking dash. Right here is, I think this is the first edition. There's the first edition badge above the glove box. Up top you have your vanity. It is LED lit for the passenger as well as the driver. The driver vanity has a three door universal garage remote. You have all your OnStar and SOS buttons as well as the master controls for the LED dome map lights. And then it looks like you have um, your, a window button or a door button that will actually control the dome map lights if the doors are open or not. And then you have your um, uh, video camera rear view mirror. With General Motors, you can control the brightness, how high or how low the camera views, and then how zoomed in or zoomed out the camera views. So overall, it is very comfortable in here. Uh, it actually feels kind of like a spaceship with all the color scheme and the massive touchscreen display. This thing is very sweet. Let's take a quick look at the back and see how much legroom we have. So with the seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I'd say I have a solid five inches, six inches of legroom before my knees hit the front seat. You do get storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Your rear air conditioning controls are gonna be all right here, as well as your heated captain's chairs. In between the air conditioning vents, you have a USB-C and USB outlet, and you have a really nice deep storage tray for multiple plus-sized smartphones. These seats do have the in-seat storage, just like the Sierras. And then this center seat also has a fold-down armrest slash cup holder. The LED dome map lights are gonna be right there. This glass does slide all the way down, which is really cool. I actually think that's what one of those buttons up there is, is for the rear sliding glass. But with the roof off, you have crazy views. And even with the roof on, I would imagine you have pretty decent headroom. So overall, I'm very impressed with the interior of this vehicle. It feels really cool, um, luxurious, yet rugged. Let's take a quick look at the back and see how much room we have in the bed. So there's a couple ways to actually lower the tailgate on the vehicle. The first way is with the key fob. I do not have that with me. Second way is with the button to the left of the steering wheel. And then the third way is the more traditional way you're gonna come up to it and push the button. 
because this has the pro tailgate system, this first button over here on the left side only opens the top portion, which will extend the cargo space a little bit if you have to put large items at an angle in the bed. If you need to keep them in the bed, you can fold up this guy and then it actually effectively adds about a foot of bed space to the truck. You also have a tie down point here and on the other side to keep items securely down. And then you have the kicker uh, audio system uh, for tailgating. So if you have Bluetooth, uh, auxiliary or USB, you can actually play music on the outside of your truck, which is pretty cool. To put the regular tailgate down, you're gonna come up and push this button and the whole thing will come down like that. Looks like we have a spray and bed liner. We got two tie down points in each corner for a total of eight. 120 volt, 400 watt power outlet back here. LED bed lighting is included with this guy. And then if you wanna get into the bed using the bed step, you're gonna push both of these simultaneously. You're gonna fold this out. It's got grip tape on it like a skateboard. And you'll grab this handle that'll lock into place and then you can get into the truck to get down you just reverse the process and in one motion i can actually put the entire tailgate up with one hand so very cool let's take a quick look at the towing and payload sticker so here's the towing and payload for this vehicle again if you happen to see one on your lot if it's not sold yet um, there may be some changes because if you add certain packages, it will change the overall towing and payload specs of the vehicle. So to open the front trunk, there is the button to the left of the steering wheel, or there's the button directly above the front facing camera. Bunch of cargo space in here. It is LED lit, and you also have these tie down points, which is pretty sweet as well as a 12 volt outlet and then the child safety button as well as two more tie down points once you're done you can come back here push the button it'll beep at you a couple times and then it will automatically close for you so there you have it 2023 gmc hummer ev if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you want to keep up to date with more auto show content, please consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.